Good morning. On behalf of SCV Water and our board of directors, I wanna thank you for joining us today to celebrate the completion of our first PFAS water treatment facility. In this time of social distancing, our ribbon cutting looks a little different. I wish we were all together on site, enjoying coffee and refreshments, sharing our memories of playing ball at the hard baseball and softball fields where this facility is located. Instead, we're gonna participate from our own bubbles and we'll be sewn together by the magic of video editing. We thank you for taking a few minutes from your day to share this exciting milestone. Located next to the parking lot in the Hart baseball and softball fields, this new facility restores wells to service that have been impacted by PER and polyfluoro alkyl substances, a group of man-made chemicals also known as PFAS. Before we get started, I would like to welcome all of our virtual attendees, including our local elected officials. We appreciate your continued support of our agency and our ongoing efforts to protect water quality in the Santa Clarita Valley. Also, I would like to thank our dedicated board of directors for their steadfast vision and commitment to ensuring a reliable water supply for our customers. Today, we are joined by our board president, Gary Martin, Vice President Jerry Gladback, Vice President Maria Gutzeit, and Directors B.J. Atkins, Ed Colley, Kathy Colley, Bill Cooper, Bob DiPremio, Jeff Ford, R.J. Kelly, Dan Mortensen, and Lim Plambach. As PFAS rose to the forefront of water policy and treatment over the last year or more, our board has made forward thinking decisions so our team could proactively plan and implement treatment options to eliminate PFAS in our water supply. I'd also like to thank our talented and dedicated staff team for their ongoing work to quickly address PFAS through testing, technology, and transparency. Lastly, a successful project of this size requires coordination from multiple agencies. We thank our SCB water team, board of directors, contractors, and the Hartfield staff for working together from start to finish to make this project a success. We also work very closely with the California Division of Drinking Water and appreciate their efforts and dedication to help us process the necessary permit to operate this facility. Before we hear from SCV Water Board President Gary Martin, I would like to share a short video that highlights our ambitious PFAS treatment projects. SCV Water has embarked on several ambitious treatment facilities to restore water quality to our customers and ensure safe, reliable water for years to come. These projects are essential as some of our groundwater supply has been affected by perfluoroalkyl and polyfluoroalkyl chemicals, also known as PFAS. These man-made chemicals are found in thousands of consumer products, including non-stick cookware, carpets, fabrics, and paper food packaging. SCV Water and other water agencies did not put these chemicals into our water, but over time very small amounts may enter our groundwater supplies through manufacturing, product use, and wastewater discharge, which are all potential sources for PFAS. Our customers come first, and we are taking immediate steps to address PFAS in our groundwater through new innovative strategies and proven treatment options. So far, we have completed a new groundwater treatment facility at the William S. Hart Baseball Softball parking lot. This new facility provides enough water for 5,000 households in the Santa Clarita Valley and brings three wells impacted by PFAS back into service. And that's not all. By 2021, we expect three more treatment facilities to be online, which combined will provide enough water for another 4,000 families per year. We are committed to providing up-to-date information to our customers on these and other important projects. For more information on SCV Water, PFAS, and these projects, visit YourSCVWater.com. And now I would like to introduce Board President Gary Martin. Thank you, Matt. We appreciate all of you being here to celebrate this important milestone with us. This PFAS treatment facility marks the first of many that will be coming online in the Santa Clarita Valley in the next few years. Our goal is always putting health and safety of our customers first, assuring that you have a safe and reliable water supply. 
while we did not put PFAS chemicals into our water supply, it is our responsibility to take immediate and aggressive steps to address them. Our board has taken a proactive stance, making timely decisions and committing important resources, which has allowed staff to take quick action. We have assessed the extent of PFAS in our area, taken wells offline, identified alternative supplies, and fast-tracked this and other treatment projects. As technology advances and state and federal water policy changes, we continue to put our customers first and restore water quality in our region. Today's celebration is only the beginning. We have three additional treatment facilities in the works and will continue to share project highlights with you as we bring our local wells back online. Once again, thanks for joining us and I'd like to bring Matt back to introduce the next speaker. Thank you. Thank you, President Martin. Our next speaker is Mike Alvord. Mike serves as the Director of Operations and Maintenance for SCV Water and is leading a fully integrated team of professionals hard at work on all of our PFAS treatment facility projects. Today, Mike is also joining us on location. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, and thanks, Matt. Since the beginning of the year, we have been hard at work constructing our very first and one of the state's first PFAS water treatment facilities located right here behind me at the Hart Baseball Fields. This project has been very ambitious and very aggressive and is costing upwards of $6 million to bring back three key wells that have been impacted with PFAS chemicals, providing up to 6,200 gallons of water per minute, which equates to approximately enough water to serve 5,000 homes here in Santa Clarita Valley. Restoring this water supply is accomplished through an ion exchange process, which absorbs the PFAS chemicals, removing it from the water. The water flows through these six vessels that are filled with this resin, goes through a series of pumps and motors, and enters a very sophisticated chloramination disinfection facility, which uses self-generated chlorine mixed with ammonia to disinfect our drinking water. This process, which uses chloramines, reduces the amount of disinfection byproducts and has fewer taste and odor problems. As we are wrapping up construction at this facility, we are in the process of constructing additional facilities that will bring back enough water to serve upwards of 4,000 additional families. We look forward to bringing these important systems back online, which continues our commitment to providing a safe, reliable water supply to our customers. I'd like to now go back to our general manager, Matt Stone, and he will officially kick off our ribbon cutting. Thank you, Mike. As I mentioned earlier, celebrations look a little different right now. At this time, our board will lead us in a socially distanced ribbon cutting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thanks, everybody. Once again, on behalf of SCV Water and our board of directors, I would like to thank you for celebrating this important milestone in protecting our water quality in the Santa Clarita Valley. We look forward to sharing additional details on our upcoming PFAS treatment facilities. For up-to-date information, please visit yourscvwater.com. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful day. Thank you.